A freshman from Orlando, Florida, number four, Adam Chani. Hey, what's going on guys? Hope we're all doing well. Um, so, we are back into the apartments. It's just been a very, very busy day. Today is the first day of practice. And I'll kind of just run over, uh, go over through the things that we did today. So, we started off with um, early morning, uh, 6.50. We're at the cafeteria, we had breakfast. What's up guys? Um, it is almost seven o'clock. We are headed to the cafeteria. Um, we gotta do temperature checks. Oh, I gotta wear the mask. I forgot. Get that on. We gotta wear these fire masks. And uh, we'll see how this goes. First day of preseason. See how that goes. From there, we moved on. We went to the locker room, got dressed, and went onto the field. Did a little bit of agility, some, uh, some agility work, warm up. It was a very, very good warm up and a very good cool down, which I really like. Um, the, how seriously it was taken. Well, that's the locker room right there. Um, looks pretty good. We got Chani right there, the cleats, all that stuff. And uh, yeah, we got protein shake, which is pretty cool. We got protein shake right there, so we can get that like after practice, which is what I got. And then we moved on to the two mile run. The two mile run, that was tough, man. Um, I was, uh, I ended up getting a 12-10 uh, um, time, which uh, is not too bad. Um, you know, the cutoff, the, the time that coach really wanted is 12 minutes. So I got 12 minutes, 10 seconds. And there were some players that got around the 11 minute, uh, close to the 11 minute mark actually. Somebody, the best one I think was an 11-20, which is very, very impressive. But uh, yeah, I did my best, and um, you know that was the first uh, kind of little session we had. Then we moved on to some passing stuff, very simple. Uh, we did 25 passes with the right, 25 passes with the left, and then we did 25 um, driven balls with the right, 25 with the left, and finished it off with 25 long balls with the right, 25 with the left. Very similar to the work that I've been doing throughout this whole summer, uh, like the technical sessions that I have with the wall or with a partner. Once we were done with that, we came back to the apartment um, or house. I'm not really sure. I guess it's a, it's a house. They call it Emerald Run Apartments. But um, we came back to the house and got showered, changed, and uh, we got ready to go back for lunch. Um, I ended up going to the athletic room to meet um, BJ, our athletic trainer. He checked my shoulder out and he sees improvement. He put me to do some exercises. And now what I'm trying to do is strengthen the shoulder. For those of you who don't know, um, I mean, I didn't really talk about it at all on the channel, but I did dislocate my shoulder about a month ago. Uh, I'll talk more into detail about that in another video, but I ended up dislocating my shoulder. They popped it back in about 45 minutes later. And since then, um, I was off for about three weeks and then I came back to training. So fitness is slightly not at 100%. Um, body still getting there just the range of motion of my shoulder isn't the best right now and I can't make certain movements once I was done with the with the rehab exercises that I did with BJ our athletic trainer from there we went back to the cafeteria ate lunch and then we had to do a, a mobility baseline test kind of um, so we here I'm showing some of the exercises that we did this is just to see where we are baseline wise and how we can improve our mobility, our stretching, all those different aspects of soccer and being as athletic as possible. So uh, it was very interesting doing these little exercises and trying to see where we are. Once we were done with that, we went on and did some exercises. I'm not able to do some of the lifting, some of the, like for example, the power slams, I can't do that. Any weights that go above my head with my arms this way, I just can't do that for now. So I just did um, the basic stuff, the, the exercises that I could do, and uh, I focused on that. Once we were done with that, we went out into the basketball court and got COVID, not COVID tested, but what we got specifically was antibody tested. 
So they would take like a little pinch of blood from our fingertips. From that, they gather information and they see um, if we have antibodies. And if we do, that means that we have had COVID before and our body was strong enough to kill it and we were able to move on and, and you know, be immune to it for the next 100 days. Um, uh, I, that's kind of the result that I wanted, just so I could be immune to it for uh, 100 days or so and, and not worry about it. But um, my results were, I never got it before and I just have to continue watching out and continue being precautious and uh, you know, try not to get that, that virus. From there, we came back to here, to the room. I had to do a couple um, emails and, and stuff for the school, trying to get my classes sorted. Um, and uh, you know, classes start in just a couple weeks, so I really wanna make sure I get that down as soon as possible. Right now, we are gonna have lunch. We're gonna have dinner in about 15 minutes, so the school is really close, so I'm, I'm about to get dressed, changed, and head to the to the cafeteria, eat dinner from there, go to the locker room. We'll have enough time to little, digest a little bit, uh, stretch, foam roll, and get ready for tonight's practice, which I believe is gonna be small-sided, um, which is gonna be very fun, uh, and we're gonna get to know the guys a lot more that way. And yeah, that's pretty much how today's schedule is. It's very busy, uh, three sessions, plus a bunch of other uh, meetings and things we had to do. And I'm loving it. I'm really loving the schedule. Uh, again, tomorrow we'll probably have to wake up at 6 again to have breakfast at 6.50. And we'll see what the schedule is like tomorrow. So I'm here editing the video right now, as you can see right there. But unfortunately, I forgot to do an outro. Not a problem. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, it's pretty much explaining the very first day of preseason, what we did, what were the sessions that we were working on, what was the focus. And uh, yeah, just kind of giving you guys an insight of what it's like in the preseason, the very first day, the very first, first and second day. I have another video coming up talking about the activities we've been doing, the training sessions, how they've been, the goals and objectives that the team and the coaching staff want to achieve this year. And I am very, very excited for this season. And I'm just willing to put in all the work, all the work that we have to, that has to get put in. So once again, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Go ahead and hit that like button. Subscribe if you're not subscribed yet for more content coming out soon. Go ahead and share this video with family and friends that are interested in the soccer community and would love to see what it's like being a college athlete. And besides that, that's the end of the video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Take it easy. Catch you guys in the next one. Peace.